Hello everyone, I am Gaurav Kulu. I am a marine faculty and I have been teaching GP rating and diploma in nautical science in past. I am also a data analysis enthusiast. So today, I am going to analyze the GP rating June 2023 result which was released uh, in mid of August by DG Shipping. Now, the objective of this analysis is purely to help students and new aspirants to make informed decisions and to have a better understanding of the exam pattern. So with that intention in mind, uh, let's move ahead. Now, the GP rating results, uh, they come in two segments. One is for the freshers and the other is for the repeaters. We will analyze both of them separately in this video. So let's quickly jump into my Power BI dashboard. So this is my Power BI uh, analytical dashboard. So for those who don't know what is Power BI, it is basically a, a leading data analysis uh, software by Microsoft. Now, uh, in this analysis, we'll first start with the fresher result. As we can see here, a total of 4,350 students from 46 institutes have appeared in this June 2023 exam. Now, just a quick reminder that um, the GP rating result is conducted twice a year. The question that comes in mind is, do we have that many jobs for these aspirants? I'll make a separate analysis video on the job scenario for GP rating uh, later. So do consider subscribing to my channel and uh, you will get the information uh, without any delays. Now let's move on further. Uh, the overall passing percentage here is 84%, uh, which is a good figure, right? It's a good result. 84% students have passed. And I congratulate all these students and the uh, institutes for their hard work. Ma now, this result actually comprises of 16% students who have failed. Now, the percentage may not look very uh, as a big number, but it translates to approximately 700 students. You can see here, it's almost 700 students who have failed. And the breakup is something like this. 11 students were absent and 698 students were uh, have failed in the examinations. Now, the question comes, where did they fail? Let's see if we can uh, answer, find the answer to the uh, question. Where did they fail? Now, as we know that GP rating course consists of two subjects, that is GSK and MEK. And both the subjects have two parts. One is the online test and the other is the orals and practicals. Now, coming back to the data, in online GSK, approximately 90% students have passed and uh, around 10% students have failed. Whereas in GSK practicals and orals, 97%, roughly around 97% uh, students have passed and only 3% students have failed. Now, coming down to uh, online MEK, again, you can see here around 92% students have passed and approximately 7.5% students have failed. And uh, MEK practicals and orals, uh, around 96% students have uh, passed and just about 4% students have failed. So this is the uh, basic uh, distribution uh, what we can see here. Now on my left hand side you will see a list of all the institutes and uh, with the breakup of number of students who have passed, failed or absent etc. Now based on this if you want to know the top 10 and the bottom 10 institutes so watch this video till the end. So comparatively we can see that most of the students are uh, failing in the online test and performing relatively better in practicals and orals. Now a quick fun fact is that most students are actually worried about the orals and practicals. Sir, what will I don't even know English. I don't know English. So 
how do I you know clear that exam how do I clear the practicals yes uh, one needs to put effort for your practicals and orals but again a lot of people take online tests very lightly but that is where you can see clearly where uh, most of the students are failing on the in the online test now it's time to jump into the next section that is the repeaters result okay so this is the um, repeaters section uh, so for june 2023 repeaters result a total of 417 students appeared and unfortunately as you can see just about 44 percent students have passed now this certainly is a poor result breaking down the result the pattern is seem to be similar most students have failed in the online exams and most of the students have managed to pass the orals and practicals now there can be various reasons for a poor result and one of the reasons which i think could be the poor support system for these repeater students because most of the repeater students they leave the college they leave the hostel they go back there to their home they don't have the friend circle they don't know who took us a lot of questions so basically uh, there's a very poor support system for the repeater students and hence I think um, the result gets poor now let me know what are your opinions on the same and you can express your uh, stand by commenting in the comment box now for the last part of my video and perhaps the most interesting part for some of you and that is the top 10 and the bottom 10 institutes based on the percentage of the numbers of students passing in the exam. A quick disclaimer here that one result does not define the status of any institute. A good result is a combined effort of uh, the student and the institute made together. So let's check out the outcome. Okay, so this is the top 10 institutes based on percentage of students passed so in number one we can see Tamil Nadu Maritime Academy with 100% passing percentage so all of the students have passed here let, let us just quickly also see uh, where is Tamil Nadu yeah you can see a Tamil Nadu Maritime Academy the total number of students who appeared were 40 and all of them have passed so basically it's a good result for Tamil Nadu Maritime Academy that all of the students have passed from their institutes. Next uh, in line is Jayanti Nathar Academy of Mar Marine Studies that's with the 99.2% C-SCAN Maritime Foundation with 98.7% School of Seamanship and Nautical Technology with 97.9% Oceanic Maritime Academy with 97.5% Training Shift Rahman with 97.5% Sri Chakra Maritime College with 97.5% RL Institute of Nautical Science 97.4% Then Great Eastern Institute of Maritime Studies with 95% and Yak Education Trust with 95% So all of them have secured very good uh, results uh, you can see here uh, Okay now it's time for uh, bottom 10 institutes uh, based on the percentage of students who have passed at the bottommost position we have M MMTI education and research trust you can see here just just about 47.5 percentage let's just quickly check out MMTI where is MMTI okay MMTI you can see here around 21 percent students have failed and 19 percent nine, sorry 19 students have passed so out of total 40 students 21 students have failed now that is what comes to 47.5 percent okay that's uh, certainly a very uh, poor performance now let's go back to yeah so MMTI at the bottom most with 47.5 percent then comes uh, International Maritime Academy with the uh, 52 percent roughly Coimbatore Marine College with 58.9 percent uh, Asha International Institute of Marine Technology with 59.8% International Maritime Institute with 68.7% SP Marine Academy 
with 70.9%, Trident College of Marine Technology with 70.9%, UB Patel College of Engineering with 73.7%, Asha Marine Technical College and Research Pali with 75.2% approximately and BP Marine Academy with 75.2%. So anyway, uh, I think any, any result about 70% is uh, quite a fair result. Uh, it's not, not uh, of course, there's a scope of doing better, but it's still a uh, fair result. But of course, these two institutes, or rather the, these three, four institutes have uh, somehow come out with poor results. Like I said earlier, one result analysis does not define anything. One has to look into the other aspects as well and over a longer period, period of time. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and have got some useful information which will help you in your decision making process. So do subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and groups so that they get the right information well before the time. And as I said earlier, I will be posting another video on the analysis of job scenario for the GPA rating. So stay connected, until then, goodbye and thank you.